Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Abbas Ali, a full-time orthopedic surgeon and national level faculty of orthopedics and a part-time YouTuber. In this video, I'll try to answer your question, why couldn't I get a decent rank in the Central Institute exams? And if this is my state of preparation, what is the point of writing NEET PG? Will I be even able to qualify it or not? So without further ado, let's get on with it. So every time the results of the Central Institute exams come out, my inbox starts to swell up with questions which are almost the same over and over again. The questions are basically asking me, Sir, I got a poor rank in the Central Institute exam. I got a very bad rank in AIMS or PGI or JIPMER and I've worked so hard, I've prepared so hard and if this is the state of my preparation which I thought was at the peak and my performance is so poor, will I be able to qualify in the NEET PG exam? Is it even worth writing it or not? So before I answer this question for you, I would like to take this opportunity and congratulate all the toppers and rankers of the Central Institute exams like AIMS, PGI and JIPMER. You guys have achieved it. It's an insanely awesome result. Congratulations. Everyone who loves you is immensely happy for you and so am I. Cherish this moment because this might not come again in your life. I hope it does but it usually does not. It's amazing. You have worked hard. You got what you deserved. All the best, really well done. And again, from the bottom of my heart, congratulations. Now you can leave. Seriously, all the rankers, please leave. I mean, yes, you can leave. You can shut this video off and go. This video is not for you. I mean, yes, all the best, good luck. You can go, be gone. Now for all my people, let's try to answer that dreaded question. Why couldn't I get a decent rank even though I worked so hard for it? So let's try to look at your question. What is your question? You're asking me, sir, why couldn't I get a decent rank in AIMS, PGA or JIPMER? Even though I worked so hard, I revised, I read these topics. My rank is not a good reflection of my preparation. What is the whole point? Am I even qualified to write the NEET PG exam? Will I qualify it or not? Should I just drop a year and prepare for next year? Should I just join a job or get married or blah, 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 blah. Okay, are you done? Can we talk now? Why didn't you do well in these exams? I will tell you why. You might not believe me yet, but hold on, watch this whole video and at the end of this video, you write in the comment box and tell me what you feel. Whether you agree with me or not, just write it down in the comment and then we'll continue the conversation there. Okay? Deal? So the short answer of the question is, you didn't do well in AIMS, PGA or JIPMER because you did not prepare well for them. Matlab, isme kya hai, sir? That's the same lame answer everybody gives us. No, no, no. What I basically meant to say is that you were preparing for NEET PG 2019. And while you were preparing for NEET PG, you thought of writing AIMS, PG and JIPMER because these were the exams that were on the way to your NEET PG. See, you're preparing for NEET PG 2019, so you have more than a month's time left and obviously your preparation and syllabus isn't complete yet. And that is why you couldn't do well in these exams. See, that is the most important thing you need to understand right now. See, if someone asks a frog, to compete in an event where the assessment is made by its ability to fly, what do you think will happen to the frog? Obviously, he will miserably fail, even though he is probably the most competent or hardworking frog on the planet. Why do you think this will happen to it? It is because that frog does not have the necessary tools to be competing in that event. Preparing for central exams, although may require the same knowledge base for NEET PG, it requires a slightly different strategy and approach. It also requires a dedicated preparation for that particular exam. And these are the tools that I'm talking about. The tools for these exams. Like I said, the knowledge base may be the same, but the tools are different for these exams. And you yourself right now are still accumulating the knowledge base for NEET PG. You don't have the tools yet. How can you expect to do grand in these exams? You still need to cover the syllabus and revise a few more times. You see, you can imagine, hope, wish, pray for anything you want to, but you have to be very honest with yourself. Evaluate yourself right now. Pause this video and ask yourself this very question. Did I prepare for this exam sincerely, 
yes or no did i prepare properly and sincerely for aims pgi or jipma did i do that ask this question go ahead ask yourself if you're sitting here and watching this video i will answer this for you no you did not you were preparing for neat pg and you thought of writing these exams because these exams were on the way to your neat pg and thought you would get an idea about where you stand among the competition congratulations you found out where you stand now what see you stand where you stand right now only because your preparation is incomplete as of now see people who have been getting these ranks have been preparing for a very long time why couldn't these very rankers get the same ranks last time around because last time around they were just like you preparing and their preparation was incomplete and this time their preparation was complete see you started your journey with a destination in your mind your destination was neat pg and these are exams before your destination so why are you worried about the exams before your destination your idea was to write this exam to basically assess yourself you have assessed yourself you have evaluated where you are strong where you are weak you have found out your leaks it is time to find out your weaknesses and plug in those leaks and learn from your mistakes and move on only when you have completed your preparation revised a few times strengthen your weaknesses plugged in those leaks will you be able to achieve your dreams and goals with central institute exams and that is when you will truly be ready for this competition and just like the toppers this time around your time will also come see i don't want you to lose track and feel hopeless just because you couldn't get through this exam but sir I should have been at least close to my rank it shouldn't have been at the bottom of the list you see i understand your problems but friends you need to understand one very important thing getting a good rank is an all or none phenomenon kinda let me explain see when you have completed your subject and preparation and you start revising your revisions will make the subject refined and integrated and every revision will improve your performance exponentially you will jump from rank 10000 to rank 1000 you will jump from rank 5000 to rank 50 till that time you will not see any change i know it's disappointing but you won't notice much difference if you still did not understand this let me elaborate this a little see most of the times unlike popular belief there is not this gradual improvement that we assume would happen to us if we persistently keep on preparing your improvement basically comes in chunks and leaps imagine it like growth spurts So let me give you an example. Say once you've finished your preparation and you do the first revision. When you do the first revision, your rank say from 10,000 jumps to 9,000. And when you do the second revision, it jumps from 9,000 to say 5,000. The third from 5,000 to 2,000 and fourth from 2,000 to 500. And then eventually you will reach the top ranks. Are you following what I'm trying to tell you? your improvement happens in chunks or spurts or leaps or bursts it doesn't happen gradually so sometimes what happens is you feel disappointed when you're right in the middle of an improvement so don't bother wasting your time predicting where you should have been according to your preparation because honestly nobody knows where you should be according to your preparation you just keep on preparing and reading and revising and jump leaps and bounds towards your rank it will happen I promise you I know this keep preparing keep revising give your best attempt for neat pg and then in may you can attempt those central exams with your best possible preparation yet got it in the end i would like to say just one thing if you ever find yourself doubting how far you can go or what rank can you achieve just pause for a few moments and try to remember how far you have already come how difficult your journey has been all these years how you have fought all those small battles to be here and have overcome all the challenges that you have been facing all these years if you have even the slightest doubt in your abilities just remember your past is a testament of your abilities and performance then what is this one small exam you will overcome it all you need is just a positive perspective and i promise you it will happen so thank you for watching my video if i have helped you in any way click the thumbs up button if you have not already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing the comment box below is where we can talk more i love hearing from you please write to me that's it i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye